Let's have a look at cost administration workspace. If I come into there, I see a tab here called all release products to configure um, what guarantees a product or what's the query that uh, makes a product show up in this list, for example. So let's have a look at creating a new release product. So if I go into release product maintenance and I go into my all release products and then I'm going to go and create a new product so I'll make it a uh, product called X563 for example X563 and I'll just apply a template to make it quick and it's just a basic set of items set up alright so I've got the item configured and I'm just going to save it so that it's saved and now the items created let me jump over to another um, tab here I'll just refresh and let's have a look at I'll use two tabs so we can look at the two different workspaces alright so if we come and if I do next for example and let's do a refresh So if I hit next, you'll see that my item shows up here. Now it's worth noting that there is some data caching that happens on this uh, workspace. So if you don't immediately see the item, now ordinarily you probably wouldn't have that sequence happen um, in that quick succession because someone that's initially sets up the item and then someone that maybe goes and administers the cost data might be two different people and then they'll be um, you know two different tasks that they will do a little bit of time apart but I'm doing them all in one process so this is my item if I don't see it I can click the see more button as well um, and then you'd be able to see it uh, here for example it would show up in the in the list in the see more so what uh, filter does the system apply to have something show up on this list which is products that need to be configured so if I go back to my item and if we go and have a look what it's looking for essentially is whether a cost group has been assigned so if I go to manage my costs for example I'm going to go and apply a cost group and so in this particular case just say no uh, costing sheet for example so I'll save it and then we'll jump out of the product now I'll just pause the video because it'll take a little while for that uh, workspace to refresh. If I go there immediately and then like hit a refresh, you'll see that it's still in the list. So I'll pause the video while the data cache gets updated. But um, you'll see if I go to the more um, like I did before and search for the product, um, you'll see that nothing will be found. So that the data is updated in the background it's just that this list will take a little while to refresh so I'll pause the video and, and then we'll see it go away alright if I refresh now and have a look you'll see that it's gone off the list so it might take a little while depending on how the case settings are set up um, so you can see those if you go across to system administration you'll see for example tile data cache um, data cache configuration for example so if we go into tile data cache you'll see that a lot of these cost item um, uh, setups in this demo data it's set up for 600 seconds which is essentially 10 minutes it might take 10 minutes for some of those um, indicators to refresh um, actually on the workspace so that's a quick look at the all release products to configure um, in this case any item in here doesn't have a cost group associated with it so if you want to take something off and you're using this as an indicator to finish setting up an item then look at the cost group on the